Hello everyone, I just thought I'd make a short video sharing a website, nuclearhotseat.com. And Nuclear Hot Seat, these are a group of, re of researchers, and I'm sure they have volunteering positions. It's about uh, getting the truth out about uh, what's going on and what has happened and what is happening with, with, um, with nuclear power, right? It's very, very important to know as much as we can about what's actually happening because so much what people will say is, oh, we can't scare people, we, have, we can't tell people the truth. But for people that want to know the truth, it, you know, how do we find it, right? Because if we just look up something on Google, I don't know that we're necessarily going to find uh, this website, right? So, um, okay, I just saw something. I'm trying to find it again. Okay, so there's a book. Yes, I glow in the dark. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Uh... Sounds like an important book. I just mean it sounds terrible that glowing in the dark. Like it sounds like someone got too much radiation. So here's some of the information on the um, on on the website. But I I would I want to encourage people to learn if you're interested in learning more. That nuclearhotseat.com is is the place that I go to learn all that I can about what's happening with nuclear. Right to get the more more of the story. Right. So there's podcasts about awards and honors, media, contact, donate. Let's see what podcast shows when we press podcasts. Back after the hack. Alice and Katz on World Health Organization's lies about Chernobyl. See, this is very important, right? Because what I'm always reading when it comes to nuclear energy is oh we can't scare people we can't they're always afraid of scaring people and then people agree with that they go oh yeah we can't tell people what really happened but then we have people walking around going oh nuclear is perfectly fine nothing bad happened everything's okay or all the bad things that happen can never happen again and then they keep happening right that's what what i see happening right nuclear halloween uh, wrong idea, blind spots, and safety test of Fukushima, radioactive water release, what's missing. This is important, right? This is very important to know all that we can about the facts of what's going on in our world, right? Because so many people are getting cancer, and it's like, why are so many people getting cancer and getting sick for all these different reasons? I'm not saying it's all about nuclear, but I'm saying the more that we know about our environment, and, and how what we do affects our environment is the better, it's, it lets us make uh, more informed choices, right? And I think that's a very important. Nuclear news from a different perspective about nuclear hot, speed, hot seat. The weekly international news magazine keeping you up to date on all things nuclear from a different perspective. Since 2011, Nuclear Hot Seat Podcast has been listed, listened to by audiences in over 124 countries around the world. And then you can listen to the podcast, right? Right here. Our mission, the mission of Nuclear Hot Seat is to support those groups and individuals that oppose nuclear in all its many forms with news expert interviews, and an oppositional perspective on weapons, reactors, radioactive waste production, taxpayer bailouts to for-profit nuclear corporations, and all other aspects of the industry. So it, nothing is missed. That's my understanding. They cover everything. To what end, right? Okay, it says, it says we pledge... Or it says, to what end? We pledge to provide only verifiable information so it can be trusted to be accurate and current. To interview experts who can explain the complexities of nuclear stories and dig under the facile coverage of mainstream media to provide a more 
nuanced understanding of issues that's very important, right? Because what does the new t news tell us? I'm always left having questions or having more questions after I watch the news. And my teacher said that the news will never tell us why things happen. It just tells us what happened. That's what my teacher has told me. Okay, uh, <clears throat> to provide context and continuity on stories so that individual factoids and incidents can be seen as part of an overall pattern when mistakes have been made, issue re retractions and corrections immediately. Do whatever I can to keep the activist community in good heart without compromising the integrity of the information. That's very important, right? That's very important. And what does this say? 124 plus worldwide audience podcast has listened to from people all, from all over the world. 560 plus experts interviews. That's a lot of in, expert interviews. Weekly interviews from guests and nuclear experts. Dedication, 100%. Energy, 100%. Passion, 100%. Very important, right? Very important. Okay, this video is just to share with you my awareness of this website and to say to you that if you're interested in learning about anything nuclear, if you're for or against it, for or against, it's important to be informed. And this is all about having layers of information that, that are not afraid to say what actually is happening right because a lot of times with nuclear accidents we don't get the whole story or we might not get much of the story at all right we might get a completely different story than what's actually happening and then people will agree with that saying oh yeah we can't scare people but people want to know what's actually happening that's what i want to know right yeah so like the fantasy about automobiles might be that oh well just water vapor comes out of the exhaust only water vapor comes out and then you find out if you look up combustion byproducts, you find a lot of other stuff coming out of the exhaust, right? So a fantasy might be, oh, it's just water. It's only water vapor. And that's it. Nothing else. Just water vapor. And then you look deeper and you find out there's words such as combustion byproducts on an automobile. And then you go, whoa, what's all this stuff? And then you find out what's going into the air when the, when the oil is being processed to be made into, a, into petrol or gasoline. And there's a lot of other things happening there, right? A lot of things happening. Okay, anyway, back to this website, nuclearhotseat.com. Uh, I've been aware of this group. I've met the people that, that I've met some of the people in the, in, that work with, with this website. Um, and, uh, and I met this woman here as well. And she's a very dedicated individual, very dedicated to truth and to sharing as much information as possible about what actually is happening. Very important. Okay, everyone, have a great day, and I hope that you uh, learn all that you wish to learn. Okay, bye, everyone. See you next in the next video.